from Flipping the Nerd, and this is a contest entry video for Craig Entertainment's giveaway. Uh, he didn't really give a reason for the giveaway, he's just an awesome dude who wants to give some stuff away. So all the respect to him. Uh, I'm new to his channel, but I have watched the videos, he's entered my own contest, and I really, really appreciate it. And when I saw that he was doing a giveaway, I had to enter and put it on my channel, so hopefully other people will see it and subscribe to him, enter his contest, because he's a really, really cool dude, and he deserves nothing but the best. So his question, or questions, are two, twofold, two questions, both of which I'm very excited to answer because they pertain to two things I'm very passionate about. Uh, number one, if you're a pro wrestling fan, and I absolutely am, and always have been as far as forever, um, who's your favorite wrestler? Well, that's a super easy question for me because it's been the same wrestler since, uh, in November, it's going to have been 25 years since he's been my favorite wrestler, and that is, of course, The Undertaker. Same as yours. Uh, why? Well, I, I was already watching wrestling uh, at the time uh, when The Undertaker, before The Undertaker started, and I was a Hulk Hogan fan. Not the most popular thing these days, mind you, but doesn't matter, I was a Hulkamaniac, and always will be, despite his personal issues these days. Uh, because I can't take just take that away from me. I mean, I was a huge Hulkamaniac in the 80s. But I, I knew that everybody was a Hogan fan. You know, at the time, you're pretty much either a Hogan fan, a Macho Man fan, or an Ultimate Warrior fan. Now, you can like all of them, but you always had a preference of the three. And my personal favorite at the time was Hulk Hogan, although I grew to appreciate Macho Man more uh, later on because of his stellar matches, which both Hogan and Warrior clearly didn't have. Uh, they had memorable matches, but not uh, huge technical prowess in the ring. Uh, but, but, so, leading to why I like The Undertaker, I was at my friend's house, who actually co-hosts the Flipping the Nerd Show with me, JM the Flip. Check him out on Twitter, for cheap plug. Uh, I was at his house, and I remember we are going to put one of those Coliseum videotapes, and I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to pick a new favorite wrestler from this videotape. And it was just a random videotape, it was the latest event, but back then there was no pay-per-view, so you had to wait for the tape. And I remember vividly saying, okay, I can't be a Hulkamaniac, everyone's a Hulkamaniac, I need to pick someone else. So I'm going to watch this, it was Survivor Series 1990. And when the Million Dollar Man introduced this brand new wrestler called The Undertaker, I'm like, hell yeah, that's it. That is my new favorite dude. And great choice because to this day, I am still a huge Undertaker fan. I even got the chance to meet him. And I got to say, I've met a lot of wrestlers in my life just going to various events. And he's the one who impressed me the most in person. Uh, he gave me a handshake. And his hand was like, it was like shaking a rock. It was ridiculous. Just super nice guy. Very, very polite. Very quiet. But I appreciate it to his day. I hang his autograph proudly in my gym. And he will forever be my favorite professional wrestler. Even when he retires, hopefully at this WrestleMania. Because I think maybe it's time for him to retire. So... That's my favorite wrestler. As far as my favorite independent movie, uh, I thought about Long and Hard. Now, uh, I went to film school, graduated film school. So independent movies were a big part of my life when I was in film school. And there was a film that came out that eventually became super popular that really showed me something. And that's why I'm going to pick it. And that is The Blair Witch Project. Now, it's not the greatest movie out there for sure. But it was a really kind of poorly shot but super brilliant film that really changed my perception of what's possible as an indie filmmaker. See, at the time, I thought it was impossible to make a film because you, I just didn't have the money for it. But seeing that film, I knew that if you think outside of the box, then maybe there's a shot of you becoming a successful filmmaker. And that's why I like The Blair Witch Project. They didn't have a lot of money, but they did something that no one had done before or not done that got any attention anyway and it proved to me that there is a way to make a successful film even with no budget if you just think of something that's different and outside of the box and i'll always respect it for it and it is a pretty scary film 
Uh, especially at the time when a lot of people thought it was real, which brilliant. They were brilliant with their marketing. So that's it. Uh, thank you again for holding this contest. I really appreciate it. Everybody go subscribe to him. I'm going to put the link below in the description. So thank you for watching, and I will see you all on the flip side.